following a last place finish in leg one of the Volvo Ocean Race, Spanish entry Mapfred drops a first bombshell. French sailing legend Michel Desjoyeux is to step off the boat and will be immediately replaced. Ouch, well that's something. You're watching the Selling Updates Desktop News, welcome to the office. The Spanish team also announces the replacement of navigator Nicolas Ludwein by last race winner Jean-Luc Nelias. On the sporting side, this new One Design edition has offered one hell of a regatta. After sailing for over 6,500 nautical miles, Abu Dhabi takes a narrow victory in Cape Town. The heart-stopping duel between Abu Dhabi and Don Fong on the very last stretch to the finish line is captivating. A grueling finale after 25 days at sea, with the Emirati team just barely holding back a relentless French-Chinese squad by a mere 12 minutes. Brunel team, skipped by Bo Bacon, arrives just four and a half hours later and takes a third place finish. The very last team to sign up for this campaign is led by veteran skipper Chris Nicholson. The young Danish crew learns very quickly and secures fourth place in Cape Town. Next is the Turkish American's Alvi Madika, comfortably holding on to a more than respectable fifth place across the line. The ladies of Team SCA had trailed at the back of the fleet, however Sam Davis got the most out of her crew on the very last effort to secure 6th place. Lastly on Mapfrey, Ikea Martinez could not stop the girls' final rush and the Spanish team is overtaken just a handful of miles from the finish line. On another note, with 110,000 players, the online race is a massive success on Virtual Regatta. We had a chat with Leg One winner Michael Ridbig from Sweden. Okay, so Michael, first, a massive congratulations to you. Uh, you must be uh, over the moon to have won the first leg of the Volvo Ocean Race. Tell us about, about how you feel. I feel very, very happy. It was so exciting and uh, it was a very thrilling uh, end of the race. I was so nervous. <laughs> it was very, very close. Yes. I didn't know, know if I was the winner until the, just the end. <laughs> really? Really? Yeah, because yeah. the other boat were catching up on you a little bit towards the end. Yes, it was a weaker wind uh, in front of me, so they, they're catching up all the time. Thank you very much and congratulations again. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Loic Perron, at the helm of the Maxi Tramaran Bank Populaire 7, dominates the route du Rome and wins the mythical race in Puerta Pitre, improving the race record by two hours. You're watching the Selling Updates Desktop News. Welcome to the office. At 54, this is the seventh attempt of Loic, the legend, the skipper, who has won pretty much everything in his career, right, never managed to win the rum on scratch. It's a very nice one, because only two months ago I was not even contemplating a victory. Enlisted only two months ago to replace Armel Leclerc, who injured his hand, Loic is lucky to have a boat perfectly prepared by Team Bank Populaire. Very cautious at the start, Loic takes the early lead and starts a rather rock and roll crossing of the Bay of Biscay. The first couple of days we had to go absolutely flat out in a boat breaking sea state, and that was nicely done. On the third day, and following the advice of its routers, Marcel Van Triest and Armel Leclerc, Loic puts the pedal to the metal. Sailing at full pace and taking a lot of risk, Bank Populaire manages to avoid the windhole while his opponent are getting trapped. As he reaches the halfway point, Loic has made the break and takes a 200 nautical miles lead over his pursuers. The boat is now on course to victory and Loic has just to manage the second half of the race very carefully. The conditions are not too bad. We are in the trade winds, sailing downwind in the direction of Guadeloupe. If all goes well, we will arrive between Sunday and Monday. We are leading for now and hope to keep it that way. Bank Populaire's route is magnificent and the skipper is very aware that he must be keeping the boat in one piece and the triumph will be his. 
There's still a lot of maneuvering to do. The finish will be at night, and the wind will ease. Before that, we will cross a kind of minefield off of La Desiraz Island. When turning around the main island, the speed goes from 30 knots to zero. Loic is trapped by the wind shadow of the volcano. A soft spot that lasts a couple of agonizing hours and could shatter his chances of beating the record. However, it won't last for long and nothing can now stop the beautiful flight of the big blue bird in this Atlantic Express crossing. Just after midnight in Guadalupe, Loy crosses the finish line in Puerta Petra, improving the outright race record by two hours. Once I have accepted this mission, I had to do everything I could to be at the level of what Armel would have done. Hats off, Loic. I was about to forget. I have one more thing for you. It's called Face Ocean. Remember this name, Face Ocean. Open to every virtual regattas players, Face Ocean is completely free and will allow you to elect the two champions of the community. One skipper and one router. Yeah, it's all about you guys, so listen. I won't say much more for the moment, but suffice to say and listen carefully, both champions will participate in a real race in 2015 on board the boat Face Ocean. Next week, same time, same place. Until then, goodbye and face in.